Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news worldwide part one vlog so let's jump right into it. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe it's the red and white button on the screen and you just have to press it. Also if you click the notification bell it will give you every video that I upload on my travel and lifestyle channel which is at least three times a week or for the past two three weeks I've been doing them five times a week so let's jump right to it now I'm going to give you eight fantastic facts so let's jump to it now number one Accor signs 14 European hotels join the first half of 2020 that's incredible the new properties um, include four in the UK and Ireland and six in Belgium and four in the Netherlands wow the new signings will be collectively added uh, to over 2,000 rooms to the company's profile in the region that is absolutely fantastic news and it's basically a travel company <laughs> that has really exceeded the expectations in these uh, tough times uh, by signing 14 new European hotels to the first half of 2020 that's amazing so they'll be also creating more jobs in the leisure and travel industry and hospitality industry as well so i really hope um it goes as safely as possible and i hope um customers uh, really enjoyed their stays at these hotels so well done to accor for that number two msc grand Dunisia cruise sector returns in europe wow that's incredible msc grandson has become the first large cruise ship to return to operation in the mediterranean wow that's incredible and well done to msc grandson or grand sasona for that the first guest began embarking in msc cruises floor ship in the part of in the port of genoa italy ahead of departure um again i really hope the customers continue to travel with the, the cruise ship and again i really hope it goes as well as possible but it is fantastic news that some companies in the leisure and tourism industry um, are growing and getting back to um, normal as soon as possible so yay for that that is absolutely fantastic news now number three Brittany ferries urges france not to impose british quarantine french firm Brittany ferries has begun lobbying the french government at the highest levels to avoid the implementation of the reciprocal quarantine measures so i think again they're doing that um, because it's going to encourage less people to travel with Brittany ferries and other com 
companies um but again it is safety though for the people that are intending to travel with um Brittany ferries vice versa um you've got to keep staff safe and as well as customers and again that needs to be again the number one priority so again um if customers do need to quarantine afterwards then again so, so be it um um at least it's going to help and prevent the disease from spreading and number four is Aguila to begin welcoming tourism from this Friday onwards well well done to Aguila the country um, in the Caribbean and I really hope tourists do, uh, do go back to Aguila in the future and I hope again that again it goes as safely as well as possible for the people in Aguila and also customers so yay well done for that number five air uh, as excuse my pronunciation of this word air uh, as anna to return to frankfurt to, uh, tomorrow basically so that's another good news again cruise companies and airlines and hotels are getting uh, back up and running um and again um, they just need more customers uh, to travel again with them and uh, to again places around the world and um, again good luck to ask Santa for that and Frankfurt Airport um, in Germany. Number six, US Virgin Islands unfortunately has, has um, to close its borders as COVID-19 cases return. So that is again very unfortunate news. But again, as I've said earlier, um, it is sa it's safety first and obviously if the US Virgin Islands have seen too many cases um, arrive then again they need to close the borders uh, to make it safe for customers and everybody um, or customers travelling back in the future now number seven Hyde Park Suite unveil four season hotels so that's absolutely fantastic and good luck to them in the future and uh, last but not least Wizz Air returned to Moscow Russia after COVID-19 suspension so that is again really good news so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and share if you haven't already done so and I'll see you in I will also see you in part two video tomorrow at six o'clock so please still keep watching take care and bye for now thank you to everybody stay safe and bye thank you bye